Hello everyone, and welcome back to Endling, Extinction is Forever, where we are cowering inside of the refugee camp with our mother fox and her three remaining cubs who are indeed getting quite big, and I hope a little bit closer to being able to be independent in case anything might happen to us. And we're also resting with the mother badger and her baby. Oh, as we get ready to carry on the story of what has happened to our little lost fox cub. So let's see where we're at here. Yes, last time we actually learned that there is a little bit of drama going on between the furrier who has chased us down and in our worst dreams even killed us once or twice, which was extremely traumatic, just saying, and the scavenger. The furrier stole from the scavenger and then very quickly had to hand our pup back over to the scavenger when the scavenger made it clear that he had the gun, which is definitely something that we have never forgotten since we are indeed very vulnerable to the scavenger's attentions. And hopefully today we are going to be able to slip past him once more in order to follow the new trail of what is going on with our little fox cub. So there's a new memory to be seen and our little fox cubs are getting bigger. So we definitely need to work on trying to go ahead and feed them. So I'm hoping we can find enough food. All right, are we able to get by over here safely? Yes, I think we're able to get over here pretty safely. And here is the newest bit of memory. So there's Molly, and there is our fox cub, and the scavenger. But the scavenger has returned to the spot, so I wonder if he moved Molly somewhere. Oh, good. Oh, thank goodness we're able to find some food. All right, here you go, little ones. So yeah, I wonder if the scavenger moved Molly along over on this side for something. Ugh, I wish the rats were having better success breeding so we could chase them down. Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh no, Molly fell down! So their little, their little boat that they have made out of a tub. Oh, she fell. Did she get hurt? Was that a toy of hers? Mm. And I think this is a spot where we've already scratched. Oh man, now I'm anxious about where the furrier is at. Let's see. We have three, three layers that we can actually hide in. One more memory to figure out. There is a vent that I am terrified is probably the furrier going on to the south. Oh, and actually, okay, if I can bark. Let's see if I can actually... Good, good, good. Can I... Please, let me hunt this... Let me hunt this chicken. Let me hunt this chicken. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, I took care of the chicken. So we have a chicken dinner. I feel bad for the people who needed the chicken. And I feel bad for the chicken, too. But our cubs were very hungry, and that might give us enough energy. We can actually figure out what's happening over here. So we don't want to attract attention from everybody on this side. There's a pigeon over there, and a rat over here. Oh, and here's where Molly's little house was. Okay. And it looks like it's been completely abandoned now. Well, I say house, but it was... So we've come full circle. We were trying to leave the refugee camp, and she's got the cub! How on earth are they feeding our cub? So we'll try to make sense of what's going on. All right, let me push this little one in here. And we only have two little memories left. Oh, she's so sad again, because we're still missing answers to where our cub is. But everybody else is well fed now. Let's see, do we see Molly anywhere? We have enough food to take care of ourselves for a little bit. The scavenger is still a problem. Man, this camp. 
All right, let's see. So we can get back home this way. Now that everybody's fed, I would like to go ahead and sleep, but maybe we should see if we can figure out what event is actually happening down to the south. No, don't bark, little ones. Now that our cubs are getting bigger, I feel like they're more inclined to bark. The why and the scavenger's got our baby back. Oh, I see. Okay, so the scavenger does actually have our cub once more. There's some berries that have grown on that bush. Oh no, those aren't berries. That's a, no wonder I thought that was a terrible looking. Wait, was that the owl? Oh, it's the owl. Is that the event? Okay, that's not the event. All right, careful. Careful. Oh boy, we're gonna be in big trouble if whatever's happening down here is actually the furrier. Okay, it's a distraction spot. That's what it is. Well, on the plus side, I can go ahead and scratch this. And now we can turn around and let's get back to the lair. And hopefully we won't run into the furrier up top. All right, careful. The sun is rising and the owl usually flies off with the sun. Okay, and so it does seem like this little bit of trash actually refills. Ah, but does the scavenger just like sleep during the day or something? And they've got our baby again. All right, up we go, kids. What a world to raise them in, right? And then let's go ahead and return here. Night 25. I wonder if they're almost big enough to go ahead and... I mean, that's still pretty early. They will need time or, or petting to recover from a scary situation. Does that mean something scary is going to happen to them? I mean, I guess technically every day could be scary, but still. Alright, what now? So the scavenger's still here, and there's some events happening around the other side that we might be able to see. But otherwise, we're okay. Someone singing? Okay, the owl is here. Is that one of the events? Nope. Just something we need to be very careful of. I hope we don't have to run past it again. And I hear... Um... Okay. Did you guys hear that? Is that Molly? Oh man, there is stuff happening over here and I don't like it and we're gonna scratch this. I'm worried to mislead. Okay. Oh, there's another, there's another chicken. Okay. All right. Look. Oh my gosh. People are being held. People are being held at gunpoint right now. This is definitely escalating in a way that I don't like at all. Why is the scavenger not involved? There's Molly. There's a dog barking. What is going on? Like, what is happening here? What on earth is happening? How is the scavenger just ignoring this? Oh no, she's, she, I mean, she seems to be kind of scared. What is going on? They're barking and chasing someone down. The dog is absolutely chasing someone. Am I supposed to do something here? Can I, can I help Molly somehow? What is going on? 
Have these people been stealing something? Like, they're refugees. This is the refugee camp, right? Oh my gosh. I don't know what to make of any of this. Or the fact that we can kind of just like sit on the edges and look at all of this. They're searching for something. Are they searching for something that Molly's like parent took? All right, look, this is awful. I feel terrible for Molly. I have no idea what's happening, but I feel like I have a obligation. Like, how did you not hear that scavenger? And we've misled the furrier about our location now. I hope that's just for the night and like the furrier doesn't think like, oh, I found him. Cause maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. All right, that's not good. Look, there's stuff happening and I don't want my cubs involved in any of it. Even if it costs us a lot of food, we're going back to bed. <laughs> we're like, look, a mother fox needs to know when it is just too risky to take her cubs out. All right, so we might need to fast travel. Do we need to get away? Like what happened? They raided the refugee camp, that's for sure. But that doesn't really give me any answers. I think if I do a big giant loop, I might be able to... Okay, all right. If I want to be able to figure out what's going on over there, I probably need to fast travel through the badger loops. But let's follow this scent. The scavenger's still around. We might stay at a different den tonight. All right, let's go ahead and get some food from over here first. Okay. Ah, dang it, we've got the... The darn is that is that all that was here? Oh, it was just fake food. And I was saving it this whole time, hoping it was gonna be real food for our, our cubs. Alright, we've got more trash. How is the scavenger so calm? I need to figure out like what just happened to like Molly. Is the refugee camp gone? It looks like a lot of the refugee camp has actually been destroyed. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. So much of the refugee camp has been destroyed over the night. What is happening? Oh man, okay, so... Where do I wanna, maybe I just need to pop in to... Okay, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna adventure in this. But where'd all those gigantic pipes go? A lot of this has been cleared away now. Where did Molly go? I feel like we're not getting a lot of answers to whatever's going on here. All right, let's go through one of the badger spots. Oh, there's some food over here. I don't think we're gonna possibly be coming back over here, so. Oh wait, no, I was following a scent trail. That's what we were doing. Oh, I got so distracted because everything is just chaos right now. All right, all right, all right. That's right. Okay, let's come. Oh, this way. All right, come on, little ones. We've got to sneak. Come on, come on. So it looks like all of the refugee stuff has been shoved over here now. This seems a little bit too on the nose, if you ask me, to have to be slinking past literal burning trash fires full of cars, or car tires. Almost too on the nose. What do we have now? Alright, the scavenger is definitely a guy. I can see his face now, and he's giving Molly something to drink and guiding her this way. Why is he back over at the other spot? I'm just so curious about that. I feel like we should stay at a different layer tonight. Because everything's getting just more and more dangerous. Oh, we're gonna have to hurry. I was so distressed I got distracted from whatever the scents are taking us. All right, there's people patrolling. Are they gonna fight me or turn around? All right, we have to be careful. Oh, you guys. 
You guys. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, let's come this way. We're gonna have to sneak around and we're gonna have to figure out how to get closer to the scent. Where'd the guard go? All right, let's do this. Oh, here we go, friends. Come on, come on, where's the scent? Oh, it's this way again? It's towards him? Oh, okay, we're gonna have to wait. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna need to figure out a way to sneak around. But if you guys could, do please leave a like for our poor Mama Fox, doing her best to go ahead and try to get to the bottom of so many different mysteries. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.